Here you can see one of the distinct pleasures we have at Shark Supply, and we get to spend a lot of time hands-on. We don't simply just throw some food in a tank and hope for the best. In this video you can see we're training the Atlantic Stingrays for the East Idaho Aquarium's interactive experience feeding directly from our hands. It's a lot of fun. You're never going to forget the first time that you hand feed these cool stingrays. As you can see from the video, the stingray barbs have already been removed. We do that non-surgically and painlessly. It's difficult and it's part of the hands-on experience that we have in working with these animals, but it's safer for you. Initially, these stingrays are very cautious in the wild, and the small ones especially are able to whip their tails around and use their stinger directly to try to fend off attackers. What you see here is they're now accustomed to me hand feeding them, so they're no longer trying to move their tails at all, but they're relaxed, they're having fun, they're getting used to being able to come up in direct contact with human being, so they're not as defensive anymore. This hands-on feeding time allows us to teach them that they're no longer in a dangerous environment where everything's out to kill them. They don't have to worry about shark attacks or anything else. They can just relax and enjoy spending time with each other and with the human beings that are taking care of them. These guys are like little puppy dogs and they'll, once they get used to all the different strangers and visitors at the aquarium, they'll follow you around like puppies begging for food. So you're gonna really enjoy them. The larger stingray you see swimming in and not feeding at all is the Say's stingray. She's a lot larger than the rest of the guys and she's not been in the system that long so she still isn't a hundred percent comfortable with being fed by humans. She's had quite a struggle to get her age and to survive in the wild and the only way she survives in the wild is avoiding everybody. So that's the cool thing about having rays in captivity is they can finally relax and enjoy life without worrying about being somebody else's dinner. We really promote this species, uh, Atlantic Stingray or Daziatus sabina, because of their durability. These are tough little survivors. They handle extreme cold water down in the lower 50s during the winter time, all the way up to the low 90s in the summertime. And their adaptability to survive by hiding from predators in extremely hot, low oxygenated water where a lot of sharks can't go, makes them survivors. Not just that, if they have to, they can go and enter into fresh water for periods of time and have their babies in a place where their babies are safe from shark attack and everything else. So this is really one of the great survivors of the ocean and one of the tough denizens of the Carolina coast. Take advantage of the opening of the East Idaho Aquarium where you can feed and play with the Atlantic Stingrays. They have an incredible interactive Stingray experience planned for you at the East Idaho Aquarium.